My sister told me that actually my nephew couldn't come to my house until I childproof my apartment. I was like, all right, so I did. And then she brings him over and she's still all like angry with me because apparently that doesn't mean lay newspaper down all over the floor. <laughs> she was like, you need, to, uh, um, you need to lock your cabinets, you need to hide all the alcohol and you need to get rid of anything sexual. And I was like, okay, first of all, I don't need to lock my cabinets because they're empty. Um, the alcohol, you know, is just there to help me sleep. And if he finds my vibrator, I'll give him 20 bucks, because <laughs> I have been looking for that thing for months. I can't remember where I put it last. Um, so my sister, yeah, she's awesome. My sister actually was in a car accident, and she ended up in a wheelchair, and it was really funny. Um, <laughs> So I found this a good opportunity, though, to babysit finally, right? So I pick up my nephew, and I'm all excited. I'm like, we're going to hang out. And he was like asking about mom, and it was kind of annoying. So I was like, God. So I took him to the park, and then he started running around, and he was like on the jungle gym and the swing set. And I was like, yeah, see, isn't this fun, Nicholas? He was like, yes, Aunt Sarah. I was like, do you and mom ever do anything like this? He said, no. I said, that's right, and you never will, because she's got screws in her hips now. <laughs> Aunt Sarah can walk. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Not always in a straight line, but I manage. <sighs> I went out on a date recently, a blind date, with a friend of a friend. Aren't those the worst? Because then your friend calls you the next day. Ugh. She was like, how'd it go? Did you like him? Did you kiss him? I was like, I kissed him a couple times, you know, while we were having sex. <laughs> Would have been kind of rude not to, don't you think? <laughs> What kind of person do you think I am? She was like, oh my God, you guys had sex? You must have really liked him. I was like, eh, he's kind of annoying. <laughs> guys, guys, just because a girl has sex with you on the first date, that doesn't mean that she likes you. <laughs> Usually means that she doesn't. <laughs> we had like a, a date night, like a movie night. Oh, I hate that. First of all, we didn't even go to the movies because he said prices were really expensive, um, so we rented a movie. Good sign right away. And then we rented American Beauty, because apparently new releases are really expensive too. <laughs> yeah, there's a couple of dollars difference. So not a good date movie though, American Beauty. You guys remember like when, when Kevin Spacey was like fantasizing about this blonde girl, he thought she was so pretty, like she would open up her shirt and rose petals would come out. That was a lot to live up to, okay? He unbuttoned my shirt, we were making out afterwards, he unbuttoned my shirt, a piece of popcorn came out. <laughs> it was so uncomfortable. I was like, we didn't even have popcorn. God. 